Difference between triangulation and trilateration in surveying. Triangulation and trilateration are two methods used to conduct land surveying by determining horizontal measurements. The basic difference between triangulation and trilateration is that triangulation involves the measurement of angles in surveying, while trilateration involves the measurement of distance or length. The process involves the measurements of sides or angles of an area that is divided into triangles, polygons, quadrilaterals or a combination of figures. I have already made a detailed video on what is triangulation, what is trilateration, what are the different types of surveying based on the measurements in our channel. You can check the channel for more videos or look into the description below. Now let's start the difference. Triangulation and Trilateration In triangulation, the triangles formed in the area is determined by measuring their angles. While in trilateration, the triangles formed in the area is determined by measuring their sides. In triangulation, a baseline whose value is already known is taken as the reference for preceding the measurement. While in case of trilateration, a node line whose azimuth is determined as a reference to proceed the measurements. To control the scale error for the overall measurement of triangulation, check baselines are measured. To control angular error, check angles are measured for trilateration. In triangulation, the indivisibility between station is very much essential. But in case of trilateration, it is possible to measure the distance without indivisibility. Triangulation involves more internal checks as the work is proceeded. While in case of trilateration, less internal checks are occurred while compared to triangulation. Once the angles are measured, the sides of the triangles are calculated using the sign rule for the triangulation method. In the case of trilateration, we determine the sides of the triangular figures once using the instrument and the angles are measured or calculated using the cosine rule. In the above figure, triangulation is being explained where the triangle form is ABC where AB is the known side of the triangle that is baseline. We keep an instrument at A and B and the point C is sighted and the included angles CAB and CBC are determined using the instrument. Once the angles are determined and one side is known, we can determine the side of AC and BC using the sign rule. While in case of trilateration, the line AB is the baseline whose azimuth is already known that is theta with respect to the north directions. Once the azimuth of line AB is known, we determine the distances X as well as Z using an instrument to measure distance. Once the distance is measured, we determine the included angles using cosine rule. The equations of cosine and sine rules are given. Hope you learned something new about triangulation and trilateration and what they are and their differences. For more such informative videos in civil engineering and construction, keep following our channel, Civil Engineering Fanatics.